Hi, this is Mr. Brennan, and I want to do a quick video about how to do and turn in your homework. So when we're using the math book, you really need three things, four things if you include your pencil. One thing is, of course, you need the math book. So you can get the math book. You've got your hard copy book, unless you're maybe new to our class and then you don't, or if you just don't like using it. The other way you can use your math book is to just go to our classwork find it at the top of the page you're going to see the link to the digital textbook that's us and click on that to open it for some reason it opens a chapter five we need chapter one so come on over to the main here you're going to click on that and we're going to start in chapter one numerical expressions with lesson one so this book and that book are exactly the same so uh, i checked it out no problems there so you're going to find go through the uh this is the lesson 1.1. It shows you how to do everything and you can look at that as well as the examples. I know I shared this on an earlier video. And then you're going to do uh, exercises, the even numbers on the exercise. So you're gonna do number two and number four and number six and number eight. And that's not supposed to be the hard part. There was some confusion about these numbers here. These are the numbers of categories lead you back to the lesson if you have trouble in the exercises like number one is adding and subtracting whole numbers you're going to see that here in the lesson right here here you are adding and subtracting whole numbers so if you got had a little trouble there one thing besides clicking on the link and coming back and working with me you can just go back and see the explanations on how you work it so that's one thing you've got your book the next thing is probably the most important, and that's this. This is your math notebook. You need to use a math notebook. Even an easy problem like number 12, 2,219 plus 872, yeah, you could do it in your head, but why would you? Use your paper and a pencil because then after you do it, so start, organize your work, do even the ones you could do in your head, like so you have them there. You've got your book, you've got your paper and pencil, and the last thing you need is the answer sheet. So here's the answer sheet that I've given you so you can turn in your homework and you can check your homework. And I just show you this picture because it looks like this. Um, just to give you a little hint, do the even problems only. Here's the page numbers. You're gonna come down to, after you put your name in and that kind of stuff, you're going to be able to answer some questions. I made multiple choice because it's easier for me to, to correct and you to see your answers. But some questions, oops, I'm showing you the answers. <laughs> some questions, let me just change over. This is what yours looks like exactly. You've just got a place to put the answers. So don't put a 222. Two, two. I've already had somebody who turned in everyone wrong. So I'm sending that back to you. I'm not going to accept it. Please. Be honest and give a sincere effort. So you've got your book, whether it's digital or hard hardcover. You've got your notebook where you're going to do all your work really. And then um, somebody said, maybe it's a problem though. My internet's not so good. If I work all these problems and put the answers on here, maybe if it takes me half an hour, something bad can happen to my internet and I haven't turned it in, all my work is lost. That's true unless you're working on paper. Then it'll take you just another 60 seconds or so to re-put the answers from your paper in there if that happens to you. So I hope this clears up any confusion that you might have had. Um, at the end, I'll be able to send your work back to you and you'll see exactly how, you, how you've done on your work, which problems you've got correct. And so that way you get instant feedback. If there are any questions, please let me know and I hope you enjoy your work.